Hey, muy buenas, bienvenidos a la parte 3 del episodio 6 de Game of Thrones, a Total Game Series. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Mis oídos. No. Dios, casi muero. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. The knife is in there. We should have gotten rid of that ages ago. Come on, we can't stay here. Sabes, la cosa es que os acordáis que cuando ocurrió lo del cuchillo nos daba la opción de tirarlo, que eso supo que era una putada también, o llevárnoslo y guardarlo en la habitación. Yo creo que, digamos, el tiempo que ha transcurrido desde que ocurrió eso hasta ahora. Pues la chiquilla podía haberlo tirado en otro sitio, ¿no? O sea, lo guardas en la habitación, vale, y después te deshaces de él, de él, en otro sitio que no sea tirarlo en el jardín, ¿sabes? Yo qué sé, lo tiras por, 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 por un puto acantilado en el mar o donde sea, ¿sabes? Pero no, no, lo guarda en la habitación para toda la vida, hasta que empiece el puto episodio este y nos metan la negra por el culo. ¡Hijos de puta! Es que no tiene sentido. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. ¿En serio? What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. Anonymously. You mean someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us, we've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. <laughs> they won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. Lady Marjorie dismissed me. For good. What? What for? It's not important. Just... We can't count on her. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Don't worry, Tom. We'll figure out who's behind this. We've managed to get this far, haven't we? You're right, Lady Mira. But we ain't faced nothing like this. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. I need allies, Tom. Allies with real power. If I can get an audience with Cersei, maybe she'll put a stop to this. I don't like it. But I can get her a message if it's what you want. In the meantime, there's a collier store by the river gate on Muddy Way. Meet me there. Oh. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Pero por qué están tan paranoicos? O sea, habían. O sea, esto es una zona común donde hay gente normal que la gente esté pasando por ahí. No te tienes que poner en plan paranoico. ¡No, no! ¿Quién anda ahí? ¿Quién anda ahí? Joder, una persona, tío. Es una... Son, eh, son pasillos donde hay personas caminando, ¿vale? No, no hay que ponerse en plan... ¡Ay, ¿Quién anda ahí? ¡Ay, ¿Quién anda ahí? ¿Quién anda ahí? ¡Joder! He visto a alguien por ahí, por ahí también. Claro, son pasillos donde hay gente. Digo yo. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The cold boy. Take him. Pero no les provoque, hombre. Si encima ya te tenían ganas. He visto a alguien por ahí, joder. Detenerlo.
Oh shit. Go, go, go! Mira told us he was gathering an army. We have her to thank it's not bigger. But we can't fight that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan! Fuck! Crossbows up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> well, Lord, you must not have much faith in this army of yours if you feel the need to hide by my little brother. <laughs> You mistake me, Forrester. Ryan is here for your protection, to stop you from being stupid. You see, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Oh, this is horse shit. Tell him to fuck off. Are you truly <laughs> that blind, Lord? I am the Lord of House Forrester! Ha! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> He's the fourth Lord Forrester I've seen in his many moons, father. Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine, for all to see, by wedding my Gwyn. <laughs> well, fuck. Hey. Asher, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. And if I tell you to go fuck yourself? <laughs> Look at my fucking army! If you want to die, I'm more than happy to oblige. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <sighs> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. We'll never bend the knee to a fucking White Hill. You will. Unless you want to end up like Roderick here. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. Ay, Dios mío. Tallo este tío. Oh, 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 oh. Help. Uh, 
I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. You deserved more days than what you were given, brother. And a better death than this. The world is colder for your passing. Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. Mm. Simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I may have loved Gwyn once, but this isn't real. That Lord will have my head the moment Gwyn produces an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I <laughs> piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. Aye. We ride for war! We ride! Spill their blood! Spill their blood! Yo creo que si hay que luchar, mejor que sea aquí, ¿no? Que tenemos una ventaja táctica que ir todos ahí a saco a por ellos, ¿no? Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But we just don't have the numbers. Unless we take them on our terms, inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Mm. Without Lord at the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lord will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. We simply need a ruse to separate him from his army. To get him alone and feeling safe. And there's one way to do that. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. Es decir, vamos a ser una especie de boda roja. Vale, le vamos a invitar, le vamos a dar de comer y ¡zas! An ambush. ¿No? Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lod could escape. There's another. Está gordo. ¿Cómo va a escapar si no sabe dar dos pasos sin sin tambalear y caerse al piso, hombre? Tranquila. Poison in his wine. ¿Sabes la putada del vino? Porque si yo le invito, yo creo que el tío tonto no es, ¿vale? Eso es lo primero. Si le pongo yo veneno en su vino, ¿no debería tomarme yo un an el, el antídoto por si me dice, chaval, no voy a beber de este vino hasta que tú bebas? ¿Eh? Eso, eso también hay que pensarlo, ¿eh? Y seguro que el antídoto no nos lo va a ofrecer el juego. A woman's weapon. Yes, and a good one. Lethal and direct. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. We're already in danger. Bueno, técnicamente... Creo que lo de envenenar es la opción menos mala ahora mismo. No hay una opción buena, por lo que yo veo. Pero es la menos mala, ¿no? Porque básicamente cuando le envenene, pues... Va a haber una batalla. Y si no le enveneno... Pongo la opción de abajo, de emboscada, pues directamente es una batalla, ¿no? Pues, ¿sabes? En la top va a haber batalla, pero en la opción de envenenar a lo mejor consigo algo extra, ¿no? Digo. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother too. I won't forget this. 
I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. <laughs> we will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Eso espero. Send word to Lord. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. Tum 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 tum. Y por aquí vamos a ir terminando Si te ha gustado el vídeo no te olvides de darle a like Suscribirte al canal Y seguirme en las redes sociales que están abajo en la descripción Y nada campeones Hasta la próxima, adiós